Welcome back to Kenton and Habiba, and I'm so happy to see you. So today we're going to be making some nice cream, some wonderful, healthy, vegan nice cream. I love ice cream, I really do, and if you're like me, you probably love it too. But it's December and it's cold outside, and so it doesn't always make sense to crave ice cream, but sometimes our I really thick, do. delicious, creamy coconut cream, sweetened, and I'm going to add half of that to my frozen bananas. I'll be making another batch, so I'm only going to use half. Okay, so we finally are out of the freezer. Here is our rum and raisin ice cream and our pina colada. Which one do you want to taste first? Let's try the pina colada. My son was worried it wasn't cold or frozen. Here's our it is. beautiful pina colada. Can you see the pineapple pieces? Mmm. Let's get another scoop. Delish. And I'm going to go ahead and garnish that with a pineapple piece. I think I should try some. Alright, so I wanted to make some soya bean milk. I often drink the soya bean from the can, but we bought some soya bean from the Asian market and going to make some for the first time. So there's the soya beans. They're kind of crispy, hard. See that? And we're going to have to wash them and soak them. And this is about two and a half cups in this bag but they swell up quite a bit. So we're gonna wash them and then soak them. Um, you know, just recycle it and you see there is all of the, or most of the uh, outer layer. So I just strain it and go back, use the water, let the husk float to the top and throw that out. You guys eat jackfruit? Do you ever eat jackfruit? You get jackfruit from the Asian market. It's a delicious, really sweet fruit. And you can get it fresh in some Asian markets, but you can also get it readily available in a can. So she's gonna make a dessert, dessert drink, yeah. So let me show you what I got here. I got some glasses. I have my Greek yogurt, which is really healthy and a few cups of water. Gonna put it all together and make us a fun, sweet, delicious smoothie for me and the kids. That beautiful yogurt. Like mango lassi instead of you know the jackfruit I'm you um, instead of mangoes I'm using jackfruit but that's how they make mango lassi with tons of fresh yogurt and it's fast and it's really delicious Can you see that? This is for after dinner for the kids. Pretty. 
and so delicious. Mm. Is it good? Thank you. Somebody sent me a box from Macy's and I'm really shocked because I wasn't expecting a box from Macy's. Um, I know on our last or so one of our last videos I commented we were in Macy's and I did not have or I would like some pots. Well lo and behold there's a box here with pots and I didn't order it and I don't know any relatives that know I needed some pots but I really did need pots I really appreciate it I just don't know who this person was who out of the kindness of their heart I assume watched the video and sent me a box of pots God is good I have to look up this person because I will need to send them a thank you. I don't know if it's a friend, I don't know if it's a relative, but how could it be a relative if I don't recognize the name? So that's kind of crazy, but truly a blessing. So whoever this is, I really, really, really thank you so much. And so does my family because we will definitely be using these pots. Really nice. I could cry. I wish I could give whoever sent me this a hug. A really big hug. A really big hug because this is going to come in so handy. And I really mean that. Alright, let's try to open this. Okay. Without cutting myself. Cool. I get cooking utensils, pasta, stews, fry. Awesome. And let's see. You like a little kid. <laughs> it's like Christmas came early. So Here's a nice good pot. Tools of the trade. Nice shiny pot. One. Here's another one. Good for sauces and steamed vegetables. Yes. <laughs> and um, let's see what we got. Look at what I got. So we have our 8 inch frying pan, 9.5 inch frying pan, or stew, you could use this for a stew pot. And we have the 1.5 covered saucepan, 2.5 covered saucepan, and the 5 quart covered saucepan. And of course, I already showed you I, our utensils for cooking. But this is also really cute. Look at this. This, my dear, is a steamer. So you can put this in any of the pots like that. Can you see? And it actually opens up. Isn't that a maze balls? <laughs> So yeah, that's gonna come in really handy to steam your vegetables and you can steam them on top of rice or you can steam them in whatever size pot you want. Look at that, fits in perfectly. So it'll probably go in this pot and it can go in the little small pot too. Ooh, I'm so happy. So again, from, from my heart to yours, I really thank the lady from, um, she's from Bronx, New York. That's all I know about her. I really don't know her, never met her, and I just 
find it amazing that someone would reach out and send someone like me all the way in North Carolina a gift that is so much needed. So thank you so much and I hope that is, this inspires somebody else to do something nice and thoughtful for somebody else. God bless. So nice. happy, happy December. Can you believe it's already middle of December? Well, so what have we been up to? Same old, same old? Not telling you. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to survive. Survive, trying to survive. Um, yeah, but what's coming up is me and the kids are going to New York because we haven't been to New York. I can't believe it. We haven't seen my mom in a whole year. My mom, my brother, my brothers, um, some of my friends, my cousins, my aunt and uncle. Yeah, we haven't been there in a year already. Last time I saw my mom and um, brothers was Key West when we were at Key West last year. So it's been a whole year. Anyway, unfortunately, well, it's kind of a blessing in disguise. Ken has a new, very serious job and uh, great opportunity, so he won't be able to leave with us for the holidays because he'll be working most of the holidays, except the actual day. You know, he, he won't have to work on Christmas Day or New Year's. But, yeah, but it so happens exactly that it's on Sunday. So, it makes more sense for me and the kids to go and spend at least a week um, and he will stay here in uh, North Carolina and then um, he'll come up hopefully for New Year's and get us. So the other thing is we're trying to debate what's the best way to get to New York inexpensively because obviously we're not talking about one ticket, we're talking about four. Usually we drive. Kenton always drives. Um, so me and the kids, we're going to either go by train or by air. I think, Kenton, you just found out that it turns out it's only about $26 or $25 difference yeah. between they're the cheap. train cheap and air. the cheap, air. Cheap O Air is the Cheap site. O Air yeah. is the site. Yeah, okay, cool. Kind of a... So for a little bit over $100 mm -hmm. per ticket, we'll go from North Carolina to New York mm -hmm. um, in basically an hour and a half. An versus sitting on the train for 10 hours, you know, uh, blowing pretty much half or almost ho the whole day, really, because you get there by train, you get there to Penn Station, and then you have to um, take a cab or take the train to where my mom lives. Jamaica, Queens. Jamaica, Queens. So anyway, I think it's looking like we're gonna go by air. So I'm we're kind of excited. taking a walk in our little town. Here in North Carolina, pretty window, love windows. So we're taking a walk for my mom for her birthday. Yeah, I'm gonna make her a cake. I think if you can't afford to buy expensive yeah, gifts, personal, make yeah. something. That's right. So actually tonight I'm gonna be making a um, sugar flower for one of my teachers. Or my teacher. Is that how you just pronounce it? <laughs> teacher. Teacher. But I'm not telling you what I'm in school for. Not yet. Again, <laughs> spent half of my life, literally more than half of my life in school. All right, so we're out. This cold Christmassy season. Hey, anyone want a goat? Mmm, who wants some goat stew? <laughs> this window looks like a hotel display. I see this and I think they're selling paint. But no, it turns out this is a hotel display window. The Franklin. Hmm, I think they're trying to do a sort of vintage, old-fashioned window display, I guess. What do you think? 
If you guys ever been to the Franklin Hotel, it's a historic hotel here in Chapel Hill. Warm up by the fireplace. Nice tree. It marvels me when I see flowers in the winter time because I think, wow, how do they survive the cold? But somehow they do. Just like us in hardship, they survive. knuckleheads so we're back home and typical Habiba fashion I've decided to start making flowers late at night gum paste flowers so we're gonna start off with our confection of sugar gum paste mix here's another version of the gum paste mix and that just helps form a really nice dough that can be malle malleable into flowers so for those of you who know anything about cake making or cake decorating, you recognize these are tools of the trade. And you'll see. So I have my clean board and it's really important to keep your surface really clean, which is why I don't have any polish or jewelry on my hands. I have my rolling pin and this is some wire, some floral tape, um, tons of color. And pearl dust, an example is this one. It looks like this. A very delicate, close to life, or as close to real life colors. And let me show you some old flowers I had made in the past. So here are some orchids I made, I think about a year ago, and they've kept really well. Um, here's some roses. Aren't they cute? Yep, and it's all edible. You don't believe me? Watch. It's kind of dry and brittle now because it's been kept for so long, but it really is edible. I don't want to eat it though. It's too much sugar. So I'm gonna use half of this. And the whole container is one pound. So I just want to use about half or half a pound. This is dusted confectioner's flour on the board. Sugar. Confectioner's sugar, sorry. Confectioner's sugar. Yeah, that's what's on here. Gonna knead it, and then it has to rest for about five minutes, and then we come back and knead it some more. Put it in a Ziploc bag.
So I was distracted as I'm working. I'm trying to work quickly, but then I'm also listening to this show on skin bleaching, like totally non-related to what I'm doing. But uh, yeah, you know, who knew this was a thing? Um, in Nigeria, apparently they're one of the largest uh, users of skin bleaching. I just think it's horrible that we would have such low self-esteem and self-hatred that's the only way I look at it um, and I know it goes deeper than that you know when you live in a society that teaches you that light skin is better or light skin is more attractive or light skin is more likely to make you successful I mean it's, it's just so sad because in the end the only people that are profiting from this cancer causing product um, are the companies that are making these bleaching products and marketing these bleaching products um, it's, it's so sad to me you know our skin is dark for a reason most dark skinned people live in hot countries where the sun would otherwise damage and cause you know not only skin cancer but premature aging so our melanin is a beautiful thing and yet unfortunately there's so many people in the world not just Africa um, even in the Caribbean that desire lighter skin because they see that as the most attractive you know feature anyway I digress girlfriends got to finish this product I have things to do I need to go to bed I really need to go to bed and um, one of my downfalls, if I'm honest, is that once I start something, I feel like I must finish it. I must finish it. Like, you know, it's really late and instead of saying, okay, put it down, come back tomorrow and finish it, I'm like, no, gotta finish it now. So I'm gonna try to finish all of the petals, which I have actually. I'm just letting them dry, but now I need to make the leaves. Um, and some of the little detail and that will dry and then I promise I will go to bed and wake up tomorrow and Do the little painting because the painting the details for me That's kind of easy the actual making the leaves and trying to make sure there's Texture and all the little fine details, you know in the beginning that takes a lot of time So anyway, let me show you what I have so far so there are my petals and that should be enough for two uh, flowers and um, these are buds over here and I have my green dye here and you know food coloring is so pigmented and you only need a so little bit. Little. I'm going to put that in here and just that little bit is going to color this entire piece of dough. And that's going to help me make um, the leaves. As you can see, I already have a little bit of it on my finger. And that's going to be a challenge to come off. So you have to knead this properly. And I'll come back once I have the right shade of green. I might need to add a little bit more. So after a lot of manipulation with different colors I think that's the right shade of green I'm looking for to do the leaves and as I showed you look at my fingers <laughs> they're really gonna need scrubbing I am back in my comfy so. wear this is what I consider my comfortable attire but anyway let me show you one of the petals Can you see so it's all in the details I love doing this work and I hope the finished product will be very beautiful and detailed. Okay. Now, can you see? I'm trying to see if it will. Yeah, there we go. Don't mind my nails, but I told you for this type of work, it's probably not a good idea to wear polish because I don't want any of the chipped color in my work. Okay, so moving on, more petals to do. Do, 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 do. See, this is what it starts out looking like. 
already put the green and then I just put a line down the middle and then you kind of fill it in but you want it to not be too dark on the edges I think there's nothing better than homemade or handmade gifts instead of buying everything. I mean, I had to buy the materials, of course, but you know, when you are looking for a gift for someone who is my deconstructed flower, it just needs to dry. And this is a before leaf. See how this one is dull and lifeless? <laughs> All we're going to do is add some. the rum cake because once you've baked it um, it will cure and last you for months even years if you keep adding rum to the cake so once the cake is cooled and baked you can keep adding some rum to it and store it indefinitely and it will still taste amazing it actually tastes better I think the older the cake is okay now for the ingredients you're going to need fruit. This is the biggest part of this cake is of course. All right, we're fruit. ready to take our cakes out the oven. I let it cool a little bit in the oven. I turn the oven off. And now we're going to let it cool. Dark, moist cake. Rich, dark, moist cake. That's what you're looking for. Mmm, if only you could smell this. <laughs> 